What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you who is getting inducted into this year's WWE Hall of Fame and my thoughts on all of the inductees. To me, this year's Hall of Fame seems like it's going to be an all-star Hall of Fame because everybody that is getting inducted this year is all top names, at least in my opinion. And to me, it is awesome because they're not following their usual format for who gets inducted every year. For years now, the typical format has always been a star from the 80s, a star from the Attitude Era, a female wrestler, a group, a deceased wrestler, and then sometimes they throw in a few more. This year, however, is not the case. We have three individuals going in, two of which are guys from the 80s, one is a female from WCW and then later into the Attitude Era, and we also have three groups going in the Hall of Fame this year. One of which is a six-person faction, which is awesome that they are getting inducted as a whole, but on top of all of this, Three of the people that are getting inducted into this year's Hall of Fame are going to become two-time Hall of Famers this year. So it is very interesting and that is why I say it is almost like an all-star Hall of Fame because everybody on this list, everybody that's getting inducted this year, well deserves it. So for who is getting inducted into the Hall of Fame this year, I'm going to start off with the individuals first. Up first, we have the Honky Tonk Man, which... Back in 2010, the Honky Tonk Man was offered an induction into the Hall of Fame, and he actually declined it, and I couldn't find anywhere as to why he declined it, but back then he did decline it, and this year when he was offered it, he accepted it, and he is going into the Hall of Fame this year. Over his years in the WWE, he became the one-time and longest reigning WWF Intercontinental Champion, a record for 454 days. To me, that is one hell of an accomplishment right there. The fact that you can hold that championship for such a long time. He has been a huge part of the WWE. The character is awesome. I love everything about the Honky Tonk Man. And in my opinion, he well deserves going into the Hall of Fame, not only for his record, but for what he has done in the WWE. Next up is Tori Wilson. When the news broke that Tori Wilson was going to be inducted into this year's Hall of Fame, a lot of people disagreed with it. A lot of people in the WWE Universe disagreed with it, but in my opinion, it does make sense that she's going into the Hall of Fame because she did her job. That is why she's going into the Hall of Fame. A lot of people claim that she didn't actually have a lot of matches in the WWE, and that is why she shouldn't get inducted into the Hall of Fame. But she was also a valet, a manager, and she did other roles in the WWE, and she did one hell of a job on what she was supposed to do and what was asked of her. That is why she's going into the Hall of Fame this year. It is not only that she wrestled a few matches, but she was a huge part of WWE, and she did her job. That's why she's going into the Hall of Fame. Next is Brutus the Barber Brief. Next is Brutus the Barber Beefcake. This gimmick was awesome. I loved him throughout the 80s. I've seen a lot of those matches and to me, everything about him and his character was awesome and to me, he definitely deserves to go into the Hall of Fame. So those are the three individuals going into this year's Hall of Fame. Next, I'm gonna be mentioning is the groups that are going in, the tag teams that are gonna be getting inducted this year. So up first is the Hart Foundation. Bret Hart and Jimmy Neidhart. This is, in my opinion, awesome. I'm a huge fan of theirs, and I'm glad they're going into the Hall of Fame. I've always been a fan of Bret Hart, but I've also been a fan of Jimmy Neidhart. By the Hart Foundation getting inducted this year, that means Bret Hart will now be a two-time Hall of Famer as well, because he was previously inducted back in 2006 due to his individual career. Jimmy Neidhart, however, back in 2018 did pass away. It was actually not too long ago. I wanna say it was around November, December. So it was pretty emotional and that makes sense why they're inducting him now. But nonetheless, the Hart Foundation definitely deserves to go into the Hall of Fame for everything they've done in the tag team division back in the 80s and early 90s. Next is Harlem Heat. This is a tag team that a lot of people disagreed for going into the WWE Hall of Fame, but you have to remember the WWE Hall of Fame now isn't restricted to just WWE wrestlers anymore. WCW is also considered WWE programming because WCW got bought out by WWE. We've seen a few years ago Sting got inducted into the Hall of Fame as well, and he only had a few matches back in around 2015 and 16 
that were in the WWE and there were some of his only matches in the WWE. But he still got inducted into the Hall of Fame, which is why Harlem Heat is also getting inducted into the Hall of Fame. This would also mean that Booker T will now be also a two-time Hall of Famer because he got inducted back in 2013 for his individual career as well. Over the time in WCW, Harlem Heat, Booker T, and Stevie Ray became 10-time WCW World Tag Team Champions, which is awesome. That is Something that I don't see current WWE ever doing, making somebody a 10-time tag team champion, other than the New Day, just because some of the members have been around for a long time, aka Kofi Kingston, but to me, Harlem Heat, even though they haven't had too many matches in the WWE back in the day, they definitely deserve to go in the Hall of Fame. And the last group, which some people claim is the headliner, but in my opinion, I don't just because there's so many top talent getting inducted this year that I can't classify these ones as the headliner because in my opinion, they're not. But that is D-Generation X. Six people going in the Hall of Fame. We have Shawn Michaels, Triple H, China, Billy Gunn, Road Dogg, and x Pax. This will also mean that Shawn Michaels now will be a two-time Hall of Famer because he got inducted back in 2011 for his individual career and I also think Triple H will eventually be a two or possibly three-time Hall of Famer because I think he's definitely going to be going in as a individual and I think he'll also get inducted for Evolution as well because that was one hell of a group. DX was one of the leading factions for the Attitude Era, and a lot of people are wondering why WWE is inducting China. China passed away a few years ago, that is one of the reasons why she's going in the Hall of Fame, but also because every other member of DX, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Billy Gunn, Road Dogg, and X-Pac, all believed that she should definitely go into the Hall of Fame if they are all going in as DX. She should definitely be a part of it. And some of them were also refusing going into the Hall of Fame if she wasn't going to be a part of it. Because even though what China did after the WWE, a lot of people don't agree with, what she did when she was part of the WWE and what she did when she was part of D-Generation X is why she should go into the Hall of Fame and why she should be remembered. She was also the first woman to go into the Royal Rumble, King of the Ring, and she was the first and only woman to win the Intercontinental Championship, which she held twice, and she also won the Women's Championship once. So in my opinion, if she wasn't going to go in as D-Generation X, I think in the future she may become a two-time Hall of Famer and go in on her own as well. That's my prediction. I think that she definitely deserves it, given what she has done. But I'm happy they included her for D-Generation X while they're getting inducted because she was a huge part of D-Generation X. So this is everybody that is getting inducted into this year's WWE Hall of Fame. It, in my opinion, like I said, is an all-star Hall of Fame just based on who is going into the Hall of Fame and the fact that three of the people that are going in the Hall of Fame this year are going to become two-time Hall of Famers. But I'm definitely looking forward to the ceremony. I think it is going to be awesome to watch this year. So comment down below what you think about this year's Hall of Fame. Are you excited for it? Do you think everybody deserves it? In my opinion, I do. I think everybody deserves it, and that is why I say that this year is an all-star Hall of Fame. And in my opinion, I'm happy that they don't have one person headlining it because this year's Hall of Fame, it can be remembered for DX going into the Hall of Fame because there's such a big group, but there's no particular headliner this year, and I'm happy they're going away with that. But these are my thoughts on this year's Hall of Fame. I'm really excited, but I am going to leave this video here. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.